As the largest bridge project in New York State history, the Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge is built over one of the widest locations on the Hudson River. So how did we design and build this mega project? Step one, we proposed a cable stay bridge design that allows for a 1,200-foot mainstay to maximize the panoramic views of the Hudson Valley. The New York State Thruway Authority client selected this design as the clear winner. Construction started on the water to set new foundation piers. After driving piles, massive concrete pile caps the size of a football field were poured. Then pier columns made of reinforced steel and concrete were poured with pier caps placed on top. Working on the water required boats and barges and a specialty crane. Nicknamed I Lift New York, she's the largest sheer leg crane flying a U.S. flag and sailed over 6,000 miles to arrive in New York Harbor. With the tight congestion on the nearby shores, many of the large steel structures were fabricated off-site and brought down by barge. The extensive use of modular construction reduced the cost and schedule. Some steel girders weighed more than 1,000 tons for the super crane to lift in place. The sleek, chamfered main span towers were erected, topping at 419 feet above the foundation. The towers carried the weight of the bridge deck as the prefabricated sections were lifted into place. With over 74 million pounds of steel and concrete to support, the stay cables are strung between the towers and the bridge deck. More than 4,900 miles of metal wire are packed into bundles inside the 14 miles of stay cable. Then, the 192 stays are progressively connected. The main span towers and stay cables are later connected to the approaches. With the westbound roadway completed, all the traffic was shifted off the aged Tappan Zee Bridge. Again, the huge I Lift New York floating crane was used to safely demolish the structure. After demolishing the old bridge's landings and abutments, the final girders will be set on the eastbound span and the precast deck panels lifted into place to complete the bridge's tie-in structure to the land. Last, both the Rockland and Westchester County on-ramp landings are finalized, and the shared use path with its six overlook stations and pedestrian and bicycle lanes is complete. Now, all the commuters travel on eight lanes and use efficient, cashless tolls. The pedestrians and bikers enjoy the overlooks with views of the Hudson River estuary. Best of all, New York's skyline adds an iconic landmark to its silhouette.